In this video, we're going to demo how to use a scratch for PC Duna to blink a giant LED. Here is the parts we need for this uh, project. So first, we need a PC Duna 3 and we need a power supply to power it up, HDMI to connect to an LCD monitor. Okay, we also need something called a base shield. We need a cable, we need a jump cable, and uh, of course, we need a LED. Let's hook it up. We insert the base shield. Be careful. Okay, let's check, double check. Uh oh. Normally we need to power it off before we. Okay, let's do that. Let's power it off. Remove the power and then install it. See here? It's aligned well. This side aligned well. Now let's push. Push. See here? Perfect align. Here, perfect align. Now let's uh, connect the LED. This side and the other side. If you look carefully at the base shield, on the top one it says uh, D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6. Let's put on the slot called D1. Okay. Now let's apply the power. Okay. Look at the screen. It will say PC Duna is booping up. The, com the little computer is booping up. Hey, let's wait. All right, the PC Duna is up and running. Let's navigate to the bottom, click, see the programming. Let's click Scratch. There are about uh, eight different tabs here. It's for motion, control, and hardware. So in this uh, project, we're going to need a uh, control and hardware. Let's do control. So this thing says, when we clicked the little flag, right here, the little green flag in here, when we clicked, the program will run. Let's go to hardware. There are several items here. You can access the hardware pins of a PC Duna. If you want to control the LED, we need uh, this G something called uh, general purpose input and output pins. For example, this thing. Since we will connect the LED to pin 1, so we need to say here, in set pin 1. Because we are going to drive our LED means its output. So to output mode. Okay, and after that, we know set a pin one to high level, means turn it on. We also need a, another thing action called set a pin one to low. Okay, now let's 
go back to control again. Okay. Because we are going to blink the LED, so that means the LED is blinking forever. So you turn on, wait one second, turn off, wait one second, and then come back again. So we need something called forever. Okay, let's drag this forever here. Before we do forever, sorry, before we do forever, we need to program the pin one to in to output mode. Yes, then forever. Then set the pin one to high means the LED will turn on. So let's add another delay here. Put it here. Say oops, sorry. Oops. High, wait, low, then wait again. Now, if we click this little. This little flag. If we click that, the program will run, and the LED will blink. Let's look at the LED here. The LED will blink. Now, if we go back, change this uh, wait uh, ten seconds. If we change that one uh, to be, for example, five seconds, it will blink slower. Okay, it's already five. Now let's see the LED. The frequency, how fast the LED blinks. See, it's blinking really slow. Okay, we are done with the first project, blink LED.